2017 Kia FORT E5 SX Turbo DCT Automatic. If it seems like auto reviewers have been damning Korean cars with faint praise for years, you're not wrong. The look how far they've come line is as tired as can be, and Hyundai's and Kia's price advantages have lessened to the point where they can no longer be crutches to rely upon. Cars such as the Kia Forte now go up against the class leaders purely on their own merits. Highs Attractive looks, button-down chassis, spacious cabin. Lows Dual clutch transmission lacks polish, steering needs more verve. In the case of the Kia FORT E5 SX, those class leaders are tough targets. This hotted up version of Kia's compact hatchback. With its 201 horsepower turbocharged 1.6 liter inline 4, aims at car and driver favorites including the Volkswagen Golf GTI, the Honda Civic C, and higher trim versions of the Mazda 3. And it's priced to match. Our test car wore a heady sticker of $28,420. More than the most recent Civic C and Mazda 3 we've tested, and within a few hundred dollars of the unimpeachable GTI Sport. Auto no go. It also was $1,400 dearer than the FORT E5 SX with a six speed manual transmission that we recently reviewed. The Kia's 7-speed dual-clutch automatic is a new addition that arrived as part of the Forte's 2017 update, replacing the previous 6-speed torque converter automatic. Although the new transmission's wider ratio spread and quicker shift seemed like an improvement on paper, the dual-clutch didn't earn its keep in our testing. It couldn't match the acceleration of the FORT E5 SX with the old 6-speed auto, trailing its 0 to 60 mile per hour time by 0.3 second and its quarter mile result by 0.4 second. The Stick Shift 2017 FORT E5 also narrowly beat the 2017 dual clutch with a 0.1 second edge in the 0 to 60 mile per hour test. We blame the dual clutch's lack of any sort of launch programming for the somewhat disappointing results. Many other dual clutch automatics are able to better adapt to our launch protocol. Or have a dedicated launch control system in order to get off the line quicker. Kia's dual-clutch transmission also still has room to improve in terms of real-world behavior. It is sometimes frustrating at parking lot speeds. Combining with the long travel throttle pedal and the somewhat laggy engine response to make it difficult to modulate the power delivery. We also noticed a strange phenomenon when accelerating at higher speeds, wherein the revs would climb in a non-linear fashion just before an upshift. Almost as if the clutch were slipping. The dual clutch's only real advantage is in fuel economy. In our 75 mile per hour highway fuel economy test, it averaged 35 miles per gallon, which is 3 miles per gallon better than the manual car. But all other things considered, we'll state the obvious and say that we much preferred the FORT E5 when equipped with a manual. As is the case with most sporty small cars. It's SXY. 
There's more fun to be found in the FORTE5SX chassis, which boasts firmer suspension tuning than the non-SX FORTE5 models. The ride is pleasingly firm without being harsh, and body motions are nicely controlled. As we found in the manual car, however, lifeless steering spoils some of the fun. It lacks the eager turn in and sharp on center field that make the Civic C and the GTI so lively. Maybe Kia didn't intend this car to be a performance machine like a GTI, though, despite the SX Racy 18 inch wheels, tasteful red accents, and dual exhaust. Instead, the FORT E5 gives off a of mature vibe, helped by its nicely put together and spacious interior. With the $3,600 tech package, the SX also boasts upscale features such as heated and cooled front seats, a sunroof, and an easy-to-use navigation system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Even so, we'd have a hard time choosing this Kia over perennial superstars such as the GTI. Which marries even more polish with a more rewarding driving experience and significantly better performance. But we won't say that the FORT E5 is a surprisingly nice car or that it's fun to drive for a Kia. Now that Kia is firmly entrenched as an established automotive player, it's enough to state that the FORT E5 is a decent small hatchback, but it's not the best you can get for the money, 